Hey guys, it's finally that time again. The Final Fantasy 14 and 15 crossover event is back. You do not want to miss your regalia mount this time. We don't know if it's ever going to happen again. So a few years back, Square did a crossover event with Final Fantasy 15 that had some pretty damn awesome rewards. And for a limited time, it's coming back. To be exact, from September 13th to October the 18th. And we don't know if we're ever going to see this event again. I do know that a lot of people were bugging Yoshi P and his team to bring this back, especially considering we've gotten a big wave of new players recently that didn't even play during the time that this event happened the first the first time around. So for doing the event, you're going to get a quite a few different things. You're going to get a four-seater regalia car mount, which in my opinion is one of the best looking and most useful mounts in the game. Uh, you're also going to get Noctis's entire outfit as long as well as his haircut. You're going to get a Noctis playing card for the Triple Triad card game. And you're also going to get various orchestrian roles uh, that play different songs from Final Fantasy XV. So the first thing that you need to do to even participate in the event is you do need to actually be level 50 and you need to have completed the uh, Realm Reborn main quest storyline. Not the ex not the quests that happen after the post-game quest, but just the actual base story, as in you need to get through Praetorium. You should also make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy XIV content. Once you've completed that, you're going to go ahead and head to Ulda, and you're going to go ahead and take the quest that's called A Man in Black, located from this spot right here on the screen. So going through the quest line is going to get you a whole bunch of pieces of Noctis' outfit, as well as you'll unlock the trial that you need to do to get the orchestrian rolls. The orchestrian rolls are purchased with an item called the Unidentified Magitech, and you get that for completing a fate that is part of one of the quests. That fate is also repeatable, so you're going to want to do it multiple times in order to get all the orchestrians. I believe there's six of them. Once you've completed the quest line, then you're going to want to go ahead and start working on getting the car. Now, the car is actually gotten at the Golden Saucer, and it costs 200,000 MGP. Now, I sound, I know that sounds like that's an insane amount of MGP, especially if you don't really go to the Gold Saucer very often, but it's really not that hard, and it shouldn't be impossible to get even if you're currently starting at zero by the time this event is over. I'm going to go ahead and leave a list on the screen of ways that you can get MGP, but just a couple of different ways that you can get MGP pretty quickly is by doing the cactpot, the major cactpot, and the mini cactpot every week, doing your challenges located in your challenge log. Uh, the trial of style is done every weekend. That's a good way. You can sell triple triad cards. Uh, make sure to do chocobo races. You can play triple triad. There are a lot of ways in the game to get MGP, especially if you make sure that you do all of the daily and weekly stuff. You should get to 200k pretty quickly. So don't make, don't miss this event, guys. You're going to be super jelly and endwalker if you're the only person that's not flying your regalia mount to the moon. Just do it. You will regret it, I promise. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video.